Hi everyone, it's Vegas, and just wanted to do a quick penny play recap. Last week we talked about two stocks. We talked about CTRM and SPCB. So let's review these two and see where we're at. Okay, so let's go through SPCB really quickly. If you guys remember, we talked about this company being the leader of the digital identity solutions and with everything going with coronavirus, everyone's looking to use the product. So coincidentally, after I did make the video last Sunday, the next day on the Monday, we had a PR from the company and what they were mentioning is that um, they're going to be doing the monitoring of prisoners in the United States. I mean, my gosh, they're letting everyone go. And uh, I guess they have to monitor what's going on because they want to minimize the impact of the coronavirus amongst the staff and the prison population. So uh, it looks like they're going to be using the Supercom product in order to monitor the, uh, I guess, prisoners that are being released. And so they're going to be obviously monitoring and tracking over 10 million incarcerated people around the world. And um, we'll have to see, I guess, uh, details on how that product, but they've talked about the electronic monitoring technology and how they're going to help the government. So they did mention they keep getting inquiries about the monitoring technology and uh, the government agency was looking to restrict, obviously, the coronavirus. And so, obviously, they want to use a product like Supercom because the security suite is fantastic and has so many innovative features like the smartphone integration, the anti-temper mechanism, fingerprint, voice communication. So, let's look at the chart because it really didn't do that much. So if we look at the chart here, you know, it opened here at $1.37. Honestly, look, it didn't do that much. It went to $1.39 and then it pulled back. And then we see that the stock has actually pulled back over the last few days. And then it went back to, uh, up to $1.27 again, then closed at $1.22. It kind of likes to hang out at this $1.22 level. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys the chart here. You can see that it is hanging around that 122 level. It had the nice little run up that day after the PR, but really did not break this resistance of $1.52. So we still need to see the 152 break. We do have a pivot point here at 109. We kind of have a low support here at a dollar and even very low support here at 79 cents. So in my opinion, you can see here that the volume's still quite low. We don't really have this big volume surge still. But you know what? The stock right now is still bullish. So it's had an inside day. And we can also see that the Bollinger Bands are quite wide. So I'm still holding this trade because this is a swing trade. So one thing to clarify is when you are in a swing trade, it does take time for the move to come and for the action to come on the stock. So because the action was quite limited on this actual stock, I didn't actually close the trade because it didn't even really pull back that much. So it didn't really move too much, but it really didn't pull back that much to actually have to close this. Um, the fundamentals of the company are still strong. I really like the product. I still like the weekly chart. On the MACD, we're still over the zero. So the chart is still intact for a swing continuation. So let's see what happens this week. Um, this penny play swing is still active and still in place. So that is the update on that one. And the last one we're going to talk about is the recap on CTRM. So just a reminder here on CTRM, uh, still liking it for one of the strongest shipping companies and still holding this trade as well. I mean, this stock hasn't really done much either on CTRM. Let's take a look at the chart here. Okay, so if we take a look at the chart, I mean, look what happened on Monday after we did the video. I mean, the stock went, you know, opened around 65. It only went up two pennies the whole day. Very boring trade. But, you know, these swing trades, as you know, are going to be boring because sometimes it takes time for the move to come. And that's why it's called swing trade, because you have to wait for the action. So after that, the next day on Tuesday, it went up to 75 cents. 
Wednesday went all the way to about 81. But guess what? We got resistance here, guys, at 82. So we need to break 82 cents for this trade to have a move. And then if it does break 82 cents, we could see 95 cents. Maybe then after about a dollar ten, then maybe one twenty-five, and there's still room for this to go. Again, just to remind you, the swing trades take time. Another thing to keep in mind, if you look at the volume, it's really not that super active. I mean, we had uh, over four million on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday we had about three point three million, but then you know Thursday, but a little bit under a million. And on Friday, about 536,000 trades, so very low volume. So, you know what? I am I still liking the setup on this one here. It's not as strong, um, only because it had some contraction here on the stock. And the thing is this. I really want to see this reclaim 71 cents because I want to see the 50-day support come back. Now, I'm still holding this swing trade because... The low of the day went to 65. It did close at 68. And really, we're just a couple pennies shy of breaking that 71 cents. So it doesn't make me panic. It doesn't make me say, oh my God, this stock's crap. Let me close the trade. I mean, obviously, if it had some sort of knife and fall down to like 54 cents, I mean, I really wouldn't want to see it go below that. However, still holding this, it's one of the strongest. It has cash, strongest shipping stocks out there. So trade is still in play. So what we want to try to see this week, if possible, we first of all want to see some volume coming in. And if that happens, we want to definitely see the break of 71 be reclaimed. And we also want to then break this 82. This is going to be a little tough spot. So we're going to need some volume here. And then if we break that, we could see 95 cents, maybe a dollar, maybe 113, maybe 125. So let's see what happens with CTRM. So these two penny plays are still in play. Just want to give you guys a quick recap. Have a great night and see you during the week. Take care. Have a great day. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll continue to do more videos. And just one last thing before we go, don't forget if you want to get into our weekly watch list, just register your name and email, click sign me up and you'll get onto the uh, free weekly watch list. And also we have some social media tools here. If you want to follow us on StockTwits, just click and you can get into us and see our postings during the day. I do try to share real time trading ideas and also you can follow here as well on Twitter. So hope you guys have a great night. Trade safe, trade green. Make sure you put those stop losses during the day and position size according to your risk. Have a great week, everyone, and see you soon.